Today we are visiting the Temple of Luxor, and I have picked what I believe to be the 10 must-see sites at this location. Number one, the Luxor Temple, as seen from the east bank of the Nile. Number two, the Avenue of the Sphinxes. This one here is pretty decent quality. Number three, the exterior massive first pylon. Number four, the red granite obelisk. Number five, the central corridor of the temple. A lot of the work here was uh, done around 1200 BC by uh, Ramesses II. Hence you see many of the statues are uh, of him. The section here, which was a chapel, dates back to uh, um, Roman times. Number six, the Islamic Mosque built over the Pharaonic Temple. Number seven, the sitting Ramesses II Colossus, just inside Luxor Temple. For all, for all the history of Pharaonic Egypt, never before have we had a lady modeled side by side. Of Supposedly his uh, daughter. Number eight, the peristyle court of Amun This is the Hatem, finest uh, the third and work in all of Egypt. And the antiquity says as well, the cat are high, high quality. Almost okay, decaying and disappearing decayed. and the bones are about to collapse. What we did, the puppets were falling apart. Number nine, the Roman mural and the Coptic Christian influence. Friezes on the wall in this Egyptian temple. And finally, number 10, Alexander the Great's wall inscription and cartouche in the inner sanctuary. But this is, was rebuilt and redone by Alexander the Great from Macedonia after his conquest of Egypt around 332 before Christ. Alexander came to this temple here and he showed respect to the gods. He regarded himself as a pharaoh and as an ancestor of the ancient Egyptians. He modeled himself dressed like a pharaoh. He wrote him his name in a cartouche, as you see. This is a cartouche here with Alexander, okay? And he's making offerings to Amun, and he left behind him the different inscriptions.